We're recording. I haven't done that in a while. That feels good. I feel like I have so much power. It's just a button. <laughs> Too much Dude, it's more than just a fucking button. Don't tell me that. All right. Welcome back to Blue by 90. I'm Justin, joined by Jack and Caitlin. As always, it is the second week of December. And Michigan went back to back. Put up the Drake yes, meme. Sir. Let's go. We're going back to back. Do we even get excited about Big Ten championships anymore? I mean, so it's just it's such a regular get, thing at this point. Yeah, right. I, I it's our agree. second home, Indy. I know. Indy Southwest. I like Indy, man. Indy's I a like great Indy. spot. I could get used to it. We had I a could great get time used to going to Indy. Like, oh, that's yeah. where, like, I know Ohio State fans probably got pretty comfortable there. I'm, I get it. I get it. It's a great town. It's incredible. It is. Dude, the only thing that, uh, that bothered me is I tried to get it back into brothers like after the game and they wouldn't let me in. Cause I wasn't wearing like pants. I wasn't wearing pants that had like a belt loop. It's a premium establishment. You're dressed. I was like wearing my classy sweats. Like they <laughs> let me in earlier. Oh God. That's uh, just a rule. I wish they would change. That's, that's all I ask. But the other place got, we went to, it's a great time. Like, great people. game day, right? Like, right. What do you expect? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. But obviously, it's yeah, it's I a mean, classy establishment. Way too classy for you, dude. Way yeah. too but I liked it. 100. I liked it when we went there before the game. Yeah, oh, it was great. Like before the tailgate. I wish. Uh, I wish we were inside a little bit more, brothers. So here's the thing. I don't know about how I, everyone. What? I just burned the shit out of my mouth. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we all needed to know that. Thank you for interrupting me on that. Really got to paint oh. a picture, you know. Yeah. Um. The. Brothers last year was like even more bumping than it was this year. I think it was because Iowa fans showed out way more than Purdue fans did last this year. Yeah, not a huge showing from Purdue fans. Yeah. Like, I I don't know, Kalen, what's up with that? Maybe just smaller alumni base, I guess. And half the alumni is like actually fans of other schools, like yourself. Yeah, that's that's hey, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Uh, they're a basketball school. Or basketball school. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, either way, it was it's not really a knock on them. It just like Iowa just was crazy last year. And they I was like eight and five and they were like talking shit to us like they were gonna like knock us off. And I was like, bro, uh yeah, it ain't gonna happen. Corn and football, dude. Yeah. That's what they live for. Love it. So but I mean ultimately Indy, great city. It is it is very fun. You know what I – this is so, like, I've turned, like, in reality into snobby Michigan fan, 1,000%. Like, I would love to in- experience Indy if it was, like, a top 10 matchup or something in the Big Ten championship game because we haven't been able to do that. When's the last time that happened? What, like, 2017? Wisconsin, really top 10 then? Yeah, probably. I don't know. I don't know. It happened a few times, I feel like, with like... Only been Wisconsin that's been a top 10 team or even ranked team coming out of the West to go into the title game. I mean, Michigan State and Wisconsin went back-to-back. Like Big T, if you can if you can look that up and, and find out who, that, who the last top 10 ranked team to come out of the West was for the Big Ten title game, let, let, let me know. Definitely has to be Wisconsin that late. I think it's got to be. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, back in the leaders and legends days, like, Michigan State and Wisconsin went, like, those were, like, top ten teams going at it, I felt like. Yeah. Or Michigan yeah. State, Nebraska, Michigan but State, Iowa. that was, Iowa. what, 20, 14, 12, 15, 13? Right? Yeah. I thought it was just after that. I don't know. I, th- I think the Big Ten Championship started in 14. I think Michigan State was in the first one. Mm, no, because maybe I'm wrong. this is a wild story. And you probably don't want me to get into it right now, but right. I know for a fact it was 2011. They had the Big Ten title game. Okay, sounds good. I don't know if that was the first one Wisconsin or not. Wisconsin but... 2011, number ten. Is that it? There you go. That's nice. Impressive. That there is we go. Impressive. He's um, our Jamie. <laughs> Love Jamie, that. who's Jamie? Joe Rogan reference for those of you. Okay, um, my my he's point. Our Hank. He's our Hank. My point. He's our Jake Marsh. There we go. He's our Marsh. Yeah. yeah. He's, uh, he's, so, he's Jake, Billy, and Hank all in one person. <laughs> incredible. That's a lot of talent. A lot of talent. A lot of talent. Um, the 
I what my point is, I would love to go there for like a top tier game. I think if Michigan was like in like a crazy game and it's you know it's for like both teams have a spot in the playoff or even just like a top ten, top fifteen, like a respectable West team, like that's all I want. So what are going to do? Realignment being in the Big Ten championship is not a big game. It is, but I want it to be a competitive. A lot more hype game. around it. Yeah, like like the SEC so title game or something. We're we're not hype about winning Big Ten championships. I know that's I mean, why I said thing, that's you know? why I said I'm I'm <laughs> I'm one thousand percent becoming the snobby Michigan fan already. Like for real, um, <laughs> disgusting. I'm, I'm just like two years ago. I would be like, I would love to Please. see the spot of somebody who walked in Lucas Oil Let Stadium. Let me beat five Wisconsin. <laughs> Yeah, like, and now I'm like, I'm like, oh, you know, just a, it's just a Big Ten title. Can you, you know? make it more difficult, please? We've yeah. never done that. Oh, uh, so so quickly it turns. <laughs> so quickly it turns. We are such assholes. Oh, I man. I understand why people hate us, like the fan base in general. I think oh, I, for sure, I get it. I but get you it. know what? The game wasn't like one. No, I agree. I thought Purdue played probably their best game of the year. Yeah. I mean, Michigan played a classic Michigan game, right? Up by one at half. And then in the fourth quarter, just ran away with it. First half is practice. If if we're within three points at half of any of these playoff games, I'm just chalking it up as a win. You just have to assume what's going to happen. I mean, that's what's so fascinating to me about this TCU matchup because they're similar in a way where they're like a big time second half team. Yeah. And so I'm like, is this just going to be like, you know, cardiac arrest for me? <laughs> oh, God. I, 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 hope, I hope they are like that. Like first half is like pretty like low level, moderate scoring, whatever. And then second half is just a fucking explosion of excitement left and right. <laughs> oh, my God. Give I, me that. I, Purdue, yeah. that Purdue game, obviously, the Ohio State game was exciting because it was Ohio State and because of Donovan's two. Uh, I mean, because of the big plays, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but, like, that it wasn't Purdue back and game, forth. especially in the first half, it was like that was back and forth. That was one of the more, more exciting games Michigan's played all year. I mean, it was similar to a lot of the other games they played, right, where it's like, oh, they're down by three at half or, like, you know, I, I actually – kind of reminded me of Ohio State a little bit like it was back and forth they scored we scored they got to stop that we kicked a field goal like that kind of thing and then uh, are you gonna just keep slurping your coffee well that's why like I didn't really realize it until like it was so close I tried to move the mic away when I when I did it my god I'm sorry my mom is gonna be so mad at you I'm sorry Sue you got rid of the burping you you just followed me on Instagram the other day she unfollowed you she just followed me. Oh, I would have died if she unfollowed I've officially, you. <laughs> I've officially passed the vibe check with Sue. Yeah, that's it. Like four years in. That's I good. know. I'm fuck, proud dude. of you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Um, we're just graduating. Slowly, we're slowly curing your idiosyncrasies here. Yeah. Right. Um. Okay. So I thought let's let's break down the game some more. I I did think Purdue played well. I think they're a pretty solid team. Like. That team shouldn't be seven and five in the West, I don't think. Uh, but the defense, the defense ultimately was bad in the end. But I thought the defense, I don't think our offense played like awesome. I thought they played well. They made enough plays, obviously, to pull away at the end. But it wasn't a flawless game by any means. No, not a flawless game at all. I mean, I think uh, we saw some nice throws out of JJ that we wanted to see just to make Michigan fans feel a little bit more comfortable about his passing game. And Dono just reinstated the fact that he's a fucking baller. And if he was a starter this year, he'd be the Heisman. Certified baller. Dude, he, like, is the best running back in the country. He runs so hard. Like, there were a couple of those oh, times. Yeah. Get him in when... OnlyFans. I know. <laughs> there were a couple of those times in the first half. It, it was actually before we started running the ball, like, well. But Purdue was smacking, and he would just run head first, and it would just be like, Oh, dude, what? and that one guy he juked? He oh, fucking, my God. Yep. Oh, Bro. my God. That was beautiful. He, was, he, 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 he showed that he's not just this, like – we I was we were listening to either a uh, pregame show or something, and, like, 
some of the guys that were talking where it's like you they've clearly never seen Donovan Edwards run a football before. Yeah. So like, oh yeah, he's more of like the uh the speed guy, like he he's not as physical and um he's Bro, not he, he doesn't read like the whole he's not as like patient as Blake Corum. He's not he like Blake Corum. Do. Yeah, like this guy's never seen Donovan Edwards run the ball ever in his entire fucking life. Dude, yeah. remember and, uh, remember when we said that? People said that about Corum when it was Haskins. And then Corum proved to be the physical guy too. Oh yeah, Thunder and Lightning. Yeah. 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 And then that but but Blake, that fucking what was it, 30 yard touchdown? He's just pinballing around on fucking people and running people over, dragging them into the end zone. Yeah. I I think I think um it, it's pretty fucking sick that we just had Donovan Edwards to put in there. Like that is that is some true like SEC type stuff where it's oh, yeah. like it's like oh we have our Heisman finalist out. Let us put in okay. our five star backup. Yeah, we put in Derrick Henry. <laughs> it yeah. felt like Alabama a little bit, right? When they just had that stable <laughs> running backs. Oh, except our good. our backup to Donovan Edwards is linebacker <laughs> Kalel Mullings, Mullings. who's it's crushing weird. it. <laughs> the the I, I love it. But why is Jay too. Stokes not? Run the I ball. don't know. He must be hurt or something. Gotta be. I don't know. Short yardage, man. But Kids Kids got two yeah, fucking love it, dude. It's great. He did have two. Who who would have predicted? Like, if you could have <laughs> at the end of September been like in the Big Ten championship game, Kalal Mulling's gonna have two PD. That's <laughs> right. like plus a million that, yeah. <laughs> in the in the uh, futures bet. What a prop bet. Yeah, that's next level. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome. I I mean, I will say like we kind of talk about it, but it truly is next man up. Like nobody gives a shit who's doing it. And like, I'm sh- like, there are a lot of young guys that showed out on Saturday that stepped right up and felt like they belonged without like any hesitation. Oh yeah. And what will, uh, will Johnson two picks, two picks, two picks. He had like a nice little diving catch for one of them. Colston with a touchdown. Colston Loveland fucking Probably the best making touchdown guys transfer. Game. You heard uh, Dono talk about that. Hold on. (laughs) Dono in the interview after it, he's like, Colson Loveland, moss some people. (laughs) Jeez. That was a good Oh, yeah. I did see that. (laughs) There's nothing better than Donovan Edwards on the mic, man. Nothing better. He's an electric factor. (laughs) It's just so funny, too, because, like, him and JJ are best friends and live together, but there couldn't be more polar opposite, like, on the mic. Like, JJ is this, like, little guy that's just, like, I'm going to be so proper and like a schoolboy. The Donovan's like, what up? <laughs> Just happy to be here. <laughs> oh, man. I was, I was talking to Kalen about it. Like, I feel bad. Like, obviously, we love having JJ at quarterback, but I'm like, fuck, man. I want to see Davis play. I know. I want to see I our wish guy. They put him in for a series at the end. They did? Or I wish they would have. You wish they would have? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, because he's nasty too. Like, he's just as athletic as JJ, and he can kind of sling shit, it around yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I don't see him getting a game. QB competition next year? Who knows? I'll start it. We'll start that. <laughs> Let's start some drama. <laughs> I'll write one article every four years, and that is the one that I choose for uh, for next year. The the uh, you know the Michigan Twitter sphere doesn't have enough drama, as in what happened today. Jesus fucking Eric Christ, Hall. man! I just I I almost had to delete Twitter for a fucking day. It's brutal, and I, I mean I will say like. You can't just drop – if you're Eric Hall, you can't just drop that grenade and walk out and not expect people to be like Oh, that. dude, I hate <laughs> when people do that. Or they'll, like, say something like, oh, yeah, I know this is going to happen, but I can't say what it is yeah, or who on, told man. me. I'm like, okay, you're fishing for fucking people to ask you exactly that, but you're putting that shit out anyway. Like, fuck off. But exactly. Eric Hall, yeah, that was interesting. It was interesting he did it the way he did it. There's some drama there for something. I don't know what it is, but like they and, I, hey, and and also wish him the best. I mean, he's yeah, gonna be a star wherever. I thought he was just gonna choose to go to the NFL. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I don't know. I mean, it sounds like he's going to Iowa. So I wonder if they were just kind of mm. like, let's buddy Josh up. Gattis to Iowa. Josh, Josh Gattis Gattis to Iowa. Iowa. He Josh might Gattis be on maybe. It. He might be he on might fire him. So, <laughs> like yeah. actually. Like he's not doing well. <laughs> oh, man. If they, I guarantee you, actually, if they have a the same, if Miami has the same type of year 
next year that they did this year. Oh, he's he gone. He'll be gone. Oh, he'll for be sure. Because the head coach will have to say, you're fired so that I don't get fired. Right. Got to got to throw somebody under the bus. Exactly. Um, but ultimately, I, I think we're going to end up in good shape in the portal. Um, I think there are guys – like, if you're a, an offensive lineman, you're calling Michigan right now if you're in the portal to oh, see yeah. if there's a spot for you. Like, 100%. That's what I think. Who's is the gonna... guy that uh, just entered in? Who's like a big, big name? Chris. It's Chris Hinton's brother. I think there was another one today that came out though, too. Oh, really? Yeah. I not mean, just Miles Hinton, right? He's yeah, at Stanford. Yeah. I think that half somebody of, else. Half of college football is in the portal right Dude, now. Dude, I read that I there were a, a thousand kids in the portal in 24 hours. Because <laughs> well, what? That was like the first day you could do it, so everybody like. Yeah. That number is obviously going to be the the day is going to be have that biggest number. That's a ton it's, of people. That though. day will have the biggest number. That's you remember when there was like twelve transfers. Yeah, like a transfer. Like you had year. to sit out. You had to like get legal. Someone's counsel. better now to do it. <laughs> now you just like tweet. You're just like, all right, I'm in the portal. Yeah. I'm <laughs> Drop some buzz, dude. Garner some attention. People, do you think some people money. even like officially enter the portal, or do they just? tweet it yeah there's somebody out there that has to like submit it yeah like, <laughs> Could you oh, imagine? god damn it yeah. you're just oh. like fuck oh, i gotta make a graphic for this now too <laughs> <laughs> you're just like they a coach text like me to tell me it western yeah. michigan or something yeah. just like all right well, who's available you're just like scrolling twitter <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome i mean i i will say it's got to be just like a complete like shit show of recruiting and trying to figure it out how do you how do you know who's on your big board it's it's not like like in high school recruiting you can like see them come up and you watch their progression and it's over four years or whatever and this it's just like one day you just know who's all available and it's a race to go get them oh dude this would be so fun okay so i'm proposing this i can't mom, wait to hear what job. this is gonna so, be I feel like it'd be perfect for me. So like, basically I'd be a recruiter, but I'm only re- like watching the college football, like realm. Like it's not high school. It's only college football. Okay. And I'm just like watching games, seeing guys that aren't really playing. Maybe they're, you know, scouting them a little bit, add them to my list and, okay. you know, create a whole database. It has somebody's going to create a database for me. I'll give them the paper. They'll type it all in, you know, just go down to all the games as many as I can hit you know, in college football, like I'll follow college game day around or something like that. And uh, then I'll basically have the list of people like, you know, you narrow it down, you call your leads, right? A little sales call and you say, Hey man, how you doing? I see you're not getting a bunch, you know, a ton of playing time. I don't know if you thought about going to the portal, but you know, we've got some spots available next year and we really like what we see. Boom. You know, and, you, and you're, you're calling these guys and you're keeping them on. You're still recruiting them like you would a high school guy. And then when they do get in the portal, they just go straight to you. You've already got that relationship made. I'm a vibes guy, dude. I could do that. I could totally, no, totally do that. Because there's no I pressure. Wrong that everyone there's already no pressure has their guy just called a recruiter. <laughs> yeah, but like I would strictly be like transfer portal guys. I think that everyone has a portal guy now too, because it's like a big deal. Well, you know, if they don't, I'm just putting my name in the hat. All right. I don't know if that's legal, Tyler. <laughs> But maybe I did, it does definitely feel legal. Um, it feels like, feel like everything's legal now. Kids. Feels like, like you're just poaching kids. Like, why why is it illegal? You're just you're. This is what Jack just pitched. I'm a big vibes guy. I just want to go to every <laughs> college football game and just like you want to be Dana Beers. Like, what's up, bro? <laughs> vibes. Yeah, I'll be Dana Beers. I'm just <laughs> checking the vibes, man. Seeing what's going on. Well, <laughs> oh, and also, while I'm recruiting these kids, I would love to just have a couple beers while yeah. I watch this game. <laughs> Do you think that'd be possible? You know, are you going to good barbecue around here, well, son? No, I mean, yeah, I'm working, but like, you can't keep the vibes up without a couple Dude, brews. You know, he's basically like a pharmacy rep. He's got a huge, like, fifty grand, like, stipend account. Yeah. <laughs> Wine and dine these kids. <laughs> That's all he's doing all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> You're just tailgating in the parking tailgating. lot. Take it to Chipotle. Yeah, get double meat. I, I got it. I got it. Rip this bong out here first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then, then you eat more. Beer bong. You'll be hungry. <laughs> oh, beer bong. Beer bong. <laughs> Sorry. You might want to throw up. I don't know. 
Oh God! Yeah, this got real re- illegal real quick. There you <laughs> I don't go. feel now like that's illegal. Uh, I feel like while people are still enrolled somewhere else, you're not allowed to contact them. Okay, I don't know if that's true. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's true, although it seemed as if Cade McNamara was talking to Iowa, seeing as he went into the portal and was at Iowa like four hours later. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. I, know. I, can't, I feel like it's got to be it's legal. Point. It's not legal, but it's ha- it happens everywhere. There's that loopholes. Point. Yeah. There's loopholes. Mm-hmm. Need your I feel NIL like manager. it's like the kid, the kid can reach out. Maybe that's it. Yeah. I maybe I'll know. maybe I'll call mom. Hey, Ooh, tell there you, you go. Tell your son to reach out to me. Yeah, there you go. Loophole. There you go. Boom. Loophole. Fix. Loophole fix. Loophole fix. 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 The NCAA is such a joke. We just we just went, <laughs> found a loophole it's that quickly. That's how smart we are. Yeah. I mean, that's true. That's true. Um, all right. So what else do we want to break down from this game? We've went on 40 tangents and talked vibes about were high. My breakdown, days. vibes were high. Saw vibes some throws from JJ we wanted to see. Dono killed it again. Uh, second half team, we're consistent with being a second half team. Vibes are high going into TCU. I'm nervous about Max Duggan, but vibes are high. Vibes are very, very he high. Does, his stats are pretty freaking good. He's got like, is it 40? He's win the Heisman. 40 touchdowns and four picks or something like that. Caleb Jeez. Williams handed him the Heisman. He's winning it. Also, you want to talk about the Heisman? Blake got snubbed. Stetson Bennett with 20 TDs and six picks is in the Heisman race. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Was he picked to go to New York? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's who you get for being the best, the quarterback of the best team in the country. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fucking love Stetson Bennett. Like, he's. I tall. do too, but he's not a Heisman quarterback. I don't think he is either, but. He was, all, he was second team all big, all SEC. Behind who? I'm assuming Bryce Young. Mm, right. So you're telling me you're not even the best quarterback in your conference, but you're going to be up for the best quarterback in the country? It's not even. It's, yeah, the award's I mean, not. Yeah, Hendon, there. Hendon Hooker was not there. there. So I mean, I don't Hendon, know. Bro, Hendon Hooker like went nuts this year. He got hurt. I know. Really, the fucking like, injury thing kids. is bullshit. You get hurt, you're out. They got no sympathy for the Heisman ceremony. Duggan didn't start the year, though. That's kind of crazy. Who do you think the fourth yeah. Michigan player next year to be on stage with the other three is going to be? So it'll be J.J., Donovan, uh, Mikey, Andrew, Mikey Sainer still? Oh, of Whoa. course. Yeah. And I the defensive, that. the Woodson Award? Fuck yeah. Um, Who's and then fourth? It, uh, probably... It's either going to be Andrew Anthony or uh, Peyton O'Leary. Ooh, give me Peyton O'Leary, baby. Maybe, maybe Jake. Uh, if Brad Robbins comes back, then it's definitely him. But I'm Davis assuming Warren. that it's going to be Davis yeah. Warren. Stop it. Maybe Davis Warren. Davis, we're gonna have two. We're gonna have both of our quarterbacks <laughs> in the Heisman running. Dude, Heisman running. Two QB systems. That would be pretty sick. Two QB yeah. systems, and they both put up stats enough for the Heisman. <laughs> Dude, I legit, I'm like so bought in on this that <laughs> JJ, Dono, and Mikey will all be up there. I, I, I'm 100 percent bought in on it. I'm. I would. I would be. JJ and Donovan both could. Like JJ and Blake. I'm 100 percent on JJ and Dono, and then like 99.9. With Mikey, just because yeah, the defense a little guy. bit lower, yeah, just a little bit lower. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, if JJ starts the year and has like a few better games where he he doesn't like he produces some more touchdowns and hits those deep balls, then it's JJ and Blake up there for sure. Who? JJ and Dono. This year. Oh, this year. If 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 Blake doesn't get uh, injured as well, oh gotcha, okay, okay, yeah, that's true, true statement. I mean, I don't think JJ was that far off. Also, but I will say he just didn't the, have very many big games. Yeah, the people that the people I will say this: the people that said it on Twitter, like right after the Ohio State game, they're like, JJ needs to be in the Heisman conversation. No, no, he doesn't. No, no. he doesn't. <laughs> Not this year. Not yet. He's literally like just anything. turning the corner here. Yeah. 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 He, like he didn't have to do anything special. No, yeah, that's the best ball. part. You know? Although I will say the last two games, I mean, he has turned the corner. 
And I think there was a lot of time against Purdue where he scrambled and made plays that wouldn't have been there without him making a play. Yeah. I mean, he did have that one from Cade to him. That one pick. What was going on? That was a terrible throw. Yeah. That was not a good decision. What was he doing there? That bad vibes? Did I miss something? I just love how, like, you know, he really took some steps forward. (laughs) You know, he did this, did that. Yeah, remember that pick? That was terrible. (laughs) Terrible throw. I mean, that was the one really bad decision of the whole game, I thought. But like, but it, it was, was like perplexing. Like he was like, there was nobody in the vicinity. <laughs> oh yeah. my god! Yeah, uh, and he doesn't have those. Like it's not like Jameis Winston, where it's like he's gonna have unreal plays and then also have some really bad plays. JJ right. doesn't have like really bad plays very often. No, it's great. No, I'll take yeah. that. That's all you need when you can run the ball like that. Yeah. yeah, might as well get it out. Get it out there. So, yeah. Um. How do we feel about the college football playoff selection? Love it. Great. I think it's perfect. Ohio State can suck one. Yeah, they can suck a big fat dick, but I want them to beat Georgia and I want to see I want Michigan to beat TCU and I want to see a Michigan Ohio State national championship. That will be the most watched I, I, college football <laughs> game of all time. I read a tweet today. It was like, I don't think America has the infrastructure for a Michigan Ohio State <laughs> national no. championship. No, dude, not at all. Uh, all these Midwesterners <laughs> out in LA just getting rowdy. Oh, <laughs> fuck. It is in LA, isn't it? The people in LA would be like, who the fuck are yeah, these? What, yeah, what are these going creatures? On? Why are <laughs> why are, it's gonna be like some Creature. guy from Ohio with like a bald <laughs> huge beard, just cigarette sitting on the side of his mouth with a oh, 30 man. rack of bush light walking into <laughs> SoFi Stadium <laughs> where they have like a spot just for influencers. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that that's a picture I want to see. I agree. I agree. <laughs> oh man, incredible! Incredible. I I went back and forth on it on it in my head. Like I'm not scared by any means. I just I don't want. I would like to avoid like the possibility of us losing the momentum in that game. Right now we have all the all the momentum, and it's really hard to beat a team twice. We can do it though. So. I say, what do you, you know, what do you think about JJ's comments of him just being like, "I want him, I want him, love it, dude, dude's a dog." Made my pants so tight, dude. Dog. That was like, that was fucking cool. <laughs> I'm nervous about it because though you know that's playing in the locker what, room. What do you say? Because it like panned away from him, and like it went to Dono, and you can kind of like hear what he what he whispered. It's like, bring it on. Bring it That's on. what it was. That's what it was. Bring it on. But then he said it in a different interview too. He's like, "I want him. I want to see him in there." I, I love how I love how that part of it though. Like when you were describing Dono and JJ earlier, you're like, you know, Dono just comes in like he's having a good time, and then JJ's up there trying to be all like, Proper. and that it was like totally opposite. It was flipped. flipped. Yeah, that one moment. Out of him was like, yeah, you know, we're just focused on the the opponent, you know, in front of us and. You know, we no matter what, we're gonna do this and work hard and do all this. It was like such a political answer, and then JJ's like, "Bring it on, baby." It was totally. You're right. It was totally so flipped funny. for like that one second. I was like, you could see it each come out of uh, each <laughs> other. Um, yeah, that was. I don't know, man. I it's it remains to be seen, but if I had to, um, you know, put it on it right now, JJ and Donovan got that dog in them. They Dude, do dog. big dogs. Dog. You know, puppy dogs. Ooh, 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 ooh. Want some big dogs. They... Want no cat. Want no, you want no cat, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's the coach? <laughs> what, what, what yeah, coach? Who said that? It's, you haven't uh, seen that speech? Yeah. No, who, who was that? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Big T, look that up. See if, see if you can find that video. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking the about. One, the one other one is my favorite when The guy's describing his whole team. He's like, so-and-so? Dog. So oh, like, yeah, kid. Oh. yeah. He goes you guys through, like, like uh, Coach Prime today? Yeah. I'm bringing my luggage with me. I'm that was good. Louis. He, hey, I mean, fully transparent. He was basically like, get the fuck out of here because yeah, like, I don't bringing... want any of your sorry ass players. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, that's Carolina. Carolina coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good call. 
That's a good call. Wait, what um, happened? Coastal Carolina? Coastal Carolina was the was the dog, the no no cat. No, no cats. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Coastal Carolina. Yeah. The, um, I don't know, Prime. I didn't realize it that Colorado was 1-11 this year. I did not know oh, that. Shit. They were bad, bad. Yeah. I saw Oof. Joel Klatt just so happy, cheesing. Yeah. <laughs> who I, uh, who do they beat? That's a great um, question. They won their like first game of the year. I want to say it was like Marshall or something like oh, that. Okay. Mm. Um, they won their first game of the year. I want to say they okay. haven't won since. Okay. So, um, but like, I don't know. I would have thought that Deion Sanders would have held out for one or two more years and gone to an Auburn or like. Well, dude, hey, Kaylin and I were talking about this on the way back from Indy, and. Uh, we're talking about Denver and like I've never been, but like talking to Caleb about it, he's been there. I'm like, it sounds like Ann Arbor planted in the mountains. Yeah, like, it is. Oh, I've, I've been on their campus. It sounds incredible. It's and isn't awesome. their campus like fucking amazing? It's really cool. It's I really mean, cool. why not? I love it. You can make Maybe it. Maybe it's not a big name there. now, but he can he can make it a big name. 100%. And I'm excited to see his son play quarterback. And a, How about and a you your son the quarterback in the in the opening it. press conference? Fully transparent. They have a good quarterback too. Actually, they have like a solid Got quarterback. A better one now. Yeah. Do we know if uh, that recruit he got last year, the number one overall guy, was following him to Colorado, or if it he felt like everybody? State? It felt like everyone was following him. Okay. I I do feel bad for Jackson State. Like I they're going to be man. left with nothing. Like seriously, you see, like. Um, you know, a lot of these high school, these basketball players are like, Hey, like, I want to go to like an HBCU and, yeah, you know, give them a good representation. And Jackson State was an HBCU, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. So, like, then they would have had football too, like, to grow that game out there and get bigger. It would have been cool if he would have now. It's like, kind of like, All right, well, fuck that. Yeah, it would have <laughs> yeah, been cool if he would have done stranded, it, but but he did a lot to bring more attention while he was there. You keep trying to talk, but I'm not done talking. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Are you done? I'm done. I'm waiting for you now. I was going to say, I it would have been cool if you would have built something for more than like a few years there. Yeah. Like if you would have actually stayed for five or something like that. And then you like you can hand it off, you know, to someone. Right. Else. Like if you could have right. brought in like a big name or something. Yeah. Yeah. But. Anyways, um, all right. So, I mean, back to back Big Ten champs, back to back Ohio State, back to back college football playoff. Were we three or two last year? We were actually two, weren't we? Three, four, we were three, two. We were Wait, two, one. It wasn't Georgia. No, because Georgia had just lost at Bama in the oh, Bama. championship game. Yeah, so we were, th- we were two. That were we? we we passed them. I think Tyler says two. Wow. All right. Whatever Big T says goes. Yeah. Um, I thought we were three. Oh, because Cincinnati was four. Cincinnati was four. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they got rocked, didn't they? Yeah. I was also telling Kellen, I think this might be the first college football playoff year that Without there Bama. won't be a blowout. In the semi. Except for us blowing TCU out. I mean, realistically. No, that's definitely the closest games, I think, uh, since. Because I think Ohio State will keep up with Georgia. Yeah. I mean, you assume so. I mean, what if they don't? Their offense. There's always a chance, right? What if they don't? They'll let me down again. I mean, were you surprised that the line was like nine for us? Uh, Yeah. That's a big line. It's a fucking huge line. I thought it moved. To seven or something? Did it move? Good. Right. Keep fucking Keep moving that right fucker down. down. I don't like that it was that big. Yeah. Makes me I nervous. Thought, I would have thought they both would have been at like six and a half or something. Yeah. Uh, seven. That was what t- uh, Georgia, Ohio State was. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, oh, listen, the thing is that Ohio State for sure can come out in this. Like, they had one bad game because we own their asses and they don't know what to do against a good Michigan team. But true, it's not like they're bad. I mean, no, they're still pretty damn good. I'll tell you what. I don't care what the over is. Do we know? 
Big T, can you find uh, the over, the over under for that game? I don't know what it could be. One hundred and twenty, and I'm betting the fucking over. Like that game will be a shootout. Um, it's pretty, seven and a half now. Just seven. no. Um, Ohio State, Georgia. Yeah, I, I, I. Let it be known that I placed my bet for Michigan Big Ten did, Conference dude. winner on August 11th. Fuck yes. Love that. That's positive vibes. That's right, baby. What did that cash out as? I only put a dollar in, but it <laughs> okay, paid me nine the, bucks. What was the book? 60 and a half for the over under for Georgia, uh, Ohio State? Yeah. That's way funny. bump that up. <laughs> That's such a high take, take the winnings you just made and put it on that. <laughs> Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. Free uh, money. The uh wait, so it's plus nine hundred, is that what you said? Plus nine thousand? It was plus eight hundred, yeah. Plus eight hundred. Eight bucks, um, baby. That's right. We rich. We had the drive through. Let's go. I love just putting a dollar on it too. Just just to you know oh, yeah. That's just that's just like a just one good tickle me. Point. Yeah. One well, good I can place point. more bets that way because I'm not super rich. Exactly. Right, sure. exactly. I got that. that well, now, budget. now that um, I mean, now that we go to the Big Ten championship every year, you can kind of just book it, you know. Honestly, that should be our thing. Every year, we put ninety dollars on Michigan oh. to win the Big Ten championship, or the Natty, or and that. the Natty, both of them. If we go, if we just go to the Natty this year, we'll bet on the Natty next year. How about that? Bet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is the first time uh, the playoff has not had Bama, right? In like a long mm. time. I feel like there's been another year. I'm sure Tyler will find it for us. No Clemson, no Bama. I think that's a win. Love that Clemson's just out. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, they weren't even in the conversation. No, it makes me so happy. Yeah. I'm sick. Clemson uh, was getting too much love of Dabo. I don't like Dabo. How about, how about uh, how about. Bama being ranked higher than ten, uh, Tennessee. That's well, cool. Penn and Hooker's out, so I, that shouldn't be. That shouldn't have to do with. They have ranking. Joe Milton at quarterback. No, they do not. He's not their backup. Yes, he is. No, he's not. I'm ninety like four percent sure, bro. Ninety. That's wild. That's what I'm saying. 2019, 2020. No Bama. So Bama wasn't in it in 2019 or 2020. So. Uh. Uh-uh. Dude, uh, how much can you can you can, can you confirm if Orange Joe Bowl? Milton's the backup quarterback? We for, uh, we can look up. I'm pretty sure he is. Too. You've just been having him. I like referring to T. Yeah, he said backup. Holy shit! I told you, dude. <laughs> Joe Milton's playing in a college or not a college football playoff, a New Year's Six Bowl. Fuck yeah, that's wild. I'm watching that shit. What if he balls out? Oh, I hope he does. There's I just so want to see him throw like 30 deep balls. So much orange in that game. If he at the orange out, bowl, I know it it's is in the orange level. bowl. Yeah, what if he if he balls out all of a sudden? Like Michigan has JJ balling out in Ann Arbor, Cade possibly balling out next year in Iowa, and Joe Milton balling out at Tennessee. We're basically like Georgia from what three years ago? Yeah, basically, Fuck. or Bama from three years ago. Yeah, or yeah, Bama from two. Bama when they had Tua, Jalen uh, Hurts, and Mac Jones. Mac Jones. Yeah. That's wild. Wild. We're basically them. Yeah. yeah that's true. Also, um, Dylan McCaffrey threw for like 24 touchdowns and 24 picks this year. Really? <laughs> At North Dakota State. God. Woof. Yeah. Tough. For his, playing for his dad. That's tough. I like the kid. I think he's a good kid, but like that's that's tough. So. Tyler, not a fan. I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, what do we think about TCU? Though you're scared of Max Duggan? Yeah, he's got a little swag to him, dude. He's a swaggy little dude. Dude, I watch a little bit, and when they played defense, they played with three down linemen. No way they're going to do that against Michigan. So then it frees up JJ to just ball. I, I feel like there's no way that they're built to stop a Michigan offense. Jack, your eyes are killing me. <laughs> Bro, Why? They're, they're not even open. They're fucking open. Fuck off. 
Bro, you guys are oh, the worst. I thought you were falling asleep. It was bad. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm locked in. It's the glare. I think the glare is like messing with you guys. Uh, yeah, okay. for sure, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Must be the glare. I thought you were just a cat coma. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh Jesus. Um, yeah, I, as I was saying, there's no way that their defense is built to stop Michigan. Like they don't know how to play against a good run. They played Texas. Yeah. Well, how they do against Five Texas? Times, they beat them. Texas is also not back. So I think the Big Twelve is better than the ACC. You think that's a fair Ooh. take? Whoa! Yeah. ACC is the worst. Take. Who do that's they have? I Clemson, think ACC. Florida soft. State's down. UNC. Did they have a good year? Wait, did you say ACC Ow. or SEC? I'm Ooh. sorry. B. John Robinson ran for 29 yards versus TCU. Uh-oh. Interesting. Okay. Well. I mean, I'm still not worried, but interesting. Oof. Well, he wasn't invited to the Heisman, so. Yeah. yeah that's a good point. Um, wait, that's you said the ACC, sorry, Kalen? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a fair take for sure. The ACC stinks. Yeah. yeah. They're trending up. They're trending up, but they do stink. Florida State, I mean, they'll make a comeback at some time. Yeah, like they have their time, right? Florida State, Miami, Clemson. Yeah. Right. I mean, if they're all at their best, then yeah. Fuck yeah. But right now, I'm like, hey, man, TCU, Kansas State. Yeah. But, like, yeah. also yeah. tell me who's good in the SEC outside of Bama and Georgia and then Tennessee snuck in there this year for the first time. I'll be honest. I have no clue. I mean, like Ole Miss, solid, right? Yeah, but it's solid. Go. Solid's like eight and four, right? Yeah, is that what their record was? I, I have no. I, I think I'm so. I think they trailed off at the end. Like okay. Lane train was hot in the beginning and then cooled down. LSU, yeah, but they got like three, four losses now. Yeah, but they had some good wins, I some guess. Good wins. Um, I mean, I don't know. They're, They're eight and four. The SEC overall, I think, was still the strongest conference this year. This was just one of those years where there's no like the team that's just like yeah. blowing people away. Right. Every, I every Georgia still kind of, like, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think Georgia still, until somebody beats them, Georgia yeah. still has that. But I, I think, still think the Georgia team from this year isn't as good as the Georgia team from last year. Yeah. Oh yeah. I agree. Their defense that was, was like fucking just ridiculous. last was year. was insane. It was one of the craziest defenses. Of all and that's time. what I mean. Like it is kind of at large, right? Like kind of anyone can win this year in a way. The right I feel circumstances. Like every yeah. co- every conference kind of has their top two teams. It feels like, and then it's like a pretty big drop off. Yeah. SEC, would, Georgia, ACC Bama. Probably, yeah. ACC is probably just Clemson. Actually, but there really isn't a second one. It was Syracuse now. for a minute until yeah. they didn't play Dan Pilari. Um, Dude, just put Danny Dimes in. Yeah. How's the running back at TCU? I don't know like anything about him. I don't know dick about anything, dude. I think his name's Cavante, though, which is a good name. That is a dope name. Um, let's see here. Let's all do our research now. Yeah, live. Fuck it, we'll do it. Who we playing? Kendra Miller, thirteen hundred yards rushing. Thank you, T. It's not bad. It's not bad. 17 touchdowns. Stats. Fuck, dude. So he's, he's kind of balling. What's Max Duggan? Like, what's what are what are his stats? I know he can I mean he can kind of do everything, right? Oh 65% completion percentage. 30 touchdowns, four interceptions. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. 3, dude, he's winning the Heisman. Heisman. He's yeah, not he's winning the Heisman. Heisman. He's winning the Heisman. Why would he not win the Heisman? If he I mean, if they who's beating him? If they beat us, then he would for sure. Well, it's already the voting's done. Is it? Yeah. The results are, I think the vote, yeah, because the top four came out today. And then the results are read on Saturday. Gotcha. Gotcha. I mean, it's not Caleb Williams. I know. It's it's not not CJ Stroud. I guess he is going to win the Heisman. Jesus. It's not Stetson Bennett. No. Max Duggan, dude. 
Was his name even in it though? Like until Quorum was out, that's where I I like I don't know because I felt like there it was always like, like C.J. Stroud, Caleb Williams, and then Quorum, and then and Hooker. Oh, and Hooker, yeah. So yeah, he was he kind of came in late. A lot of like Hooker, Stetson Bennett both came in really late. I mean, it'll be a crime if Max Duggan doesn't win the Heisman. His stats show it. Yeah, he's yeah. a gamer. Dude, I'm just so sad for Blake. Like, it would have been so obvious that it was Blake. Oh, yeah. If he never got hurt, 100%. that's Heisman season locked in. Literally. Still like, is the, obvious. A runaway Heisman. Yeah. Because if he even has if he even has one of those Donovan runs against Ohio State, and then he carries the ball 25 times like Donovan did in the Big Ten Championship, he goes for 200. Like Heisman moment. Yeah. People did. I th- I do think writers like wrote him off, wrote Blake off a little bit because they're like, well, Donovan was able to do the same thing behind that line, so it's just the line. And I'm like, yeah, except Donovan's for the literally going to win the Heisman next year. So Donovan is just as good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, out in space, you you see it right on display. Blake just shifty, like he makes guys miss. Yeah, he's legit. I mean, Blake's unbelievable. I did. I got a little like tear in my eye when Donovan was talking about Blake on the podium. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh shit! No, I, I saw that. Clip. Yeah, yeah. He was just like Blake for Heisman. He deserves it. Like he's the best running back in college football. Blah blah blah. That's um, pretty cool. That was pretty cool for him to say. Definitely. Um, yeah. So what what was the uh, what was the environment like inside Lucas Oil? Were you singing Mr. Brightside? Like was we were singing Michigan Mr. Fans? Brightside. Sang, uh, they played Pump It Up once as well towards the Beautiful. end after a touchdown. Um, I mean, it was back and forth in the beginning, so it was exciting. Um, and then you pulled away late. Um, I, I, it wasn't the it was not the environment that it was last year. Last year was just like insane because of two things. Obviously, the first time we've ever been there uh in you know 17 years or whatever and then secondly we had those two big touchdowns right away and it just like made the place erupt and this time it was like you know a little bit more back and forth and stuff like that so it wasn't quite the just like electric atmosphere still though again indy great city love indy yeah great city it was awesome um where'd you guys watch it brothers um kilroy's Killers. Remember, brothers wouldn't let me in because I didn't have belt loops. <laughs> I was wearing my classy sweats, dude. Dude was not having it. He was like, nah, dude, you can't get in here. <laughs> okay. Back to Kilroy's we go. <laughs> Kilroy's was legit, though. They had I a like lot Kilroy's. of TVs. It was cool packed. people. You know, yeah. there was some mission. Kilroy's has there. been like Kilroy's is definitely the number one bar there. We yeah. went to brothers. We got served pretty quick. I mean, service really? was yeah. great, and it was a packed sure. bar. Like it was very, very good experience. Kilroy's, mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's good to know. Good to know. Um, I'm I'm thinking about going to Phoenix, so we'll see. Dude, yeah. if you can, do it. So can you uh, buy a bus, and maybe you'll drive the bus, and me and Jack will sit in the back, and we'll We're just live stream the, the whole back. thing. Ooh. Yeah, Great like you've got like a driver's like headset on, there's a camera, like a dash cam on you, like talking, <laughs> and then like we're in the back, big T's back there with us. We're just, like, I really, I'm just imagining this like an episode of Jackass, and he's just like, <laughs> that's and we're exactly just exactly like, what I'm thinking. Shit. He's wearing a helmet for some reason. We're like, why is he wearing a helmet? <laughs> <laughs> this definitely does seem like a scene out of a movie. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, Jackass, what, 2.0? <laughs> or it's like RV where everything goes wrong the like entire trip. <laughs> oh, don't your parents have an RV? They do. Should we just do it? Yes. I got to convince my Absolutely. dad. Absolutely. Come on. Oh, oh dad, God. do you want to go to the semifinal game? <laughs> exactly. I know it sounds pretty boring. <laughs> would John be would be like, I already got our tickets. What do, what do you mean? We're taking, you we're taking know, the RV. Just go home with Jack. We're, we're, it's all, we're, good, we're good to go. You know, if my brother listens to this, his wedding is the seventh. And the Natty is the ninth in LA. <sighs> That's tough. Wait, wait, wait. The <laughs> wedding is also in LA. Is that what you're saying? No, no. His his wedding is in Plymouth, Michigan. Oh, um, okay. And so, like, that means I would have to leave. If I went to the Natty, I would have to like 
leave first thing in the morning on Sunday morning from his wedding <laughs> for LA. That's <laughs> true. I think I'll just say fuck it, do it live. You even gain a couple yeah. hours when you get to LA. Yeah. A few to be exact. Yeah. It's true. I can just go red eye, like go straight drunk from the uh the wedding, just straight onto the airplane. Dude, just never stop. Just keep yeah, rolling. Just keep that keep drunk drinking. going. Till Monday. Can't lose All momentum. Can't Sunday. lose momentum, dude. There's no way that they have a home game on Sunday, right? No, no way. They might. I feel like. I mean, don't two team two teams play there? They might. What do you mean? Like two NFL teams? Rams, Chargers. I think well, it's away. not like one's playing at one o'clock and the other is playing at eight. No, but like usually, if you have two teams, like it's tough to get both of them away. Is what I'm saying. Oh, gotcha. It's a good point. Maybe there's a bye week or something. Los Angeles Rams schedule on the eighth. They play at the Seahawks. The regular season's over by then. Chargers. Oh wait, never mind. It's like the last week, actually. The Chargers play at the Broncos, so they're both away. Okay, there you Scheduling. go. Not perfect Good scheduling. Could have been a uh, massive disaster. Could have had, you know, maybe they didn't think about that. I was going to help. Maybe, I really like tweeted at SoFi City. Right, I got I to gotta say something before I forget. Your hair looks incredible right now. <laughs> I don't know what you did, but like, <laughs> he's got, it looks like he just left the barber and they just like fucking did his shit. I said, I said, to say that maybe Big T can get a, uh, get a zoom in close on that. Stop it. Stop it right now. Uh, I uh, don't do it. I haven't done anything to it. I just, I literally just like, this is what I did this morning. I don't know, dude. It looks good. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Those hair coming plugs from you, worth it, man. Coming from you, that means a lot. Thank you. You're just, you're a guy that knows hair. I am. Katie's barbershop. Yeah. Are you are you still growing out the hair? What are you doing? I am. I am growing Let's it out. Go. Let's go. Forehead looks really big. I'm gonna go to the barber and I'll be like, what do you think? It's See growing, right? Either, That's the whole and point. I'm gonna be like, give me your honest opinion. <laughs> <laughs> like, is it worth it or should give me you give me your honest it? opinion, but also my feelings are gonna be really hurt if you say the wrong thing. <laughs> no, not at all, dude. Not at all. Yeah, like I, I would want to know. I talked to Zach at the tailgate. He's like, dude, yeah, they're all saying like grow your hair back out, but they're not bald. Like, <laughs> they should look better bald. I was like, I was like okay. I'm like, good point. Good point. Coming from a bald guy. <laughs> that is a good point. He's got a tough, tough argument. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <They're not bald. laughs> they just don't have that experience, you know? Savage. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you got a point. I mean, it's true, but I just I saw that one picture of you from like what was that? It was also that was like twenty two, years ago. That was twenty twenty. Yeah, been through two a lot of stress ago. since then. You know, a lot of hair has <laughs> fallen out. I feel like there is not that much hair that's fallen. I out. say just grow it out and like grow See it out with some length and just give it a look. And if you're like, you know what, I don't like it. There's gonna be a long in between stage, man. That's a lot of. I mean, you know what? I I don't mind wearing a beanie and a hat all the time. Like that's not a problem for me. Yeah, but that's just a long process. It's you long are process, a, celeb, a lot of hats. Too. Yeah, like you you got to get in front of a lot of people. You know, that's we true. get like, I mean, look, just if you're watching this on YouTube, look at the views on there. I mean, it's big time. We're, it's millions. Yeah. Hundreds People, and hundreds of thousands of millions. We have, like, what I'll say is it's at least 10. So at least at 10, least 10 can, people. I least can 10. guarantee you, if you're watching this at this point, there's at least 10 views on there. If you're watching this, I hope so. Please stop. <laughs> yeah. If you're watching this, thank you. If you want to donate to our GoFundMe to keep the <laughs> podcast going, that would be great. If you want to donate to Jack's Hair Plugs. We are starting. A See if we can get if we can get me some money to get some hair plugs, fix that up the hairline perfect. a little bit, get the bald spot in the back, and throw it out for sure. All it's right. a lot of work, man. It I is got those of kind of funds. Yeah, you need to get that. Uh, whatever. What did Nate get with the the beard on his head or whatever? I got a lot of neck hair I can get rid of. 
dude yeah get that the transplant thing there'd be like different hair it'd be so gross <laughs> you ever see like, the lawns just that have like different in. colored or different types of grass in it like it just looks bad yeah. that's what it looks <laughs> like, like what they do with like it like when they oh, when you be looking like Ron Artest or something. <laughs> oh, God. When it's Ron. very clear that they like just put down sod in one area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, it look yeah. awful. Wait, is that true that the hair, if you take it from your beard and put it on top of your head, that it is like stubble? <laughs> it's not I like normal. I don't think so. Like the same thickness and everything. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. There's no way you just have like <laughs> random guys beard hair. Like that done are desperate. <laughs> guys that get stuff like that done are desperate, man. Maybe they'll take that over being bald. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying that's what I would assume that oh, it would be. No like. way. It's just like some scraggly beard hair. And then I don't like, know, man. I have no clue. Chloe. I have no clue. That's just what I assume. <laughs> you just have a beard on top of your head. <laughs> I mean, fuck, dude. That would be I'd give me a lot more fucking hair. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> all right we can try it all right this is officially <laughs> gone off the rails all right good so, um hey we're college football playoff bound back to back baby a lot of work first first time together. michigan football's been 13 and 0 ever 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 it's pretty fucking cool oh my god it was it was awesome i mean it's it is wild i want to go back to it like i was being snobby and half joking but like <laughs> It truly is wild that we are like all of a sudden it's like, yeah, Big Ten champs is the norm, you know, thirteen and L, no big deal. Like, what the fuck? Where did this come from, dude? I, I mean, I'm just loving it, dude. We're living in this moment. This is probably the best stage of Michigan football that we'll ever see in our lifetime. Like this stretch of what's happening right now. Not many like, people get these stretches, dude. Like this is gonna be the best Michigan football is gonna be in our lifetime. For us to like really enjoy it, taking it all in, yeah, enjoying every second of it, and the fact that we are like, I mean, we're the favorite by almost dungeon, double digits to go to the national yeah. title. I do hate that. That scares the shit out of me. But I know, but yeah. like, that's how good we are. Like, that's how, our chances are unbelievable. Knock on wood. But holy shit! Like, yeah. very exciting time. Just an unbelievable feeling. So feels good. All right, we'll keep it rolling here. Um, but for us, you can follow us at Blue by 90 on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Blue by 90 Podcast on YouTube, and Blue by 90.com. We appreciate you. Go Blue. <laughs> that was the fastest I've ever done it. You rattled that thing off, baby. Yeah. Go Blue. Go Blue.